Okay, in this video we're going to divide uh, never-ending decimals and we're going to round our answers to the nearest hundredth, okay? So lots of fun here. We'll just do page one and page two. Let's start with page one. If you have the fraction two-thirds, let's turn that into a decimal, okay? Because two-thirds, I hope you agree with me that that is two, write down, two divided by three, okay? And it's also three into two. Okay. Now, if I do that s simple, uh, this simple little um, division, three into two goes zero times, doesn't it? <laughs> now, what do I do? Take a guess. What should we do now? Zero remainder two, isn't it? Kind of funny. Shouldn't we put a? We could put a point here, and we could add a zero, right? <coughs> Could we add another zero though? Add another zero? Let's add a bunch of zeros, see what we get. Okay? So two and three and two go zero times, and the decimal point in the answer goes up here, right? Now we've got three into twenty, don't we? You think three into twenty goes how many times? Well seven threes is twenty once. It's gotta be less than that. How about six? Six threes is eighteen. Um, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go, okay, uh, 3 into 20 goes 6 times, remainder 2. And then you got 3 into 20, and that goes 6 times, remainder 2. And now 3 into 20 goes 6 times, remainder 2. And now 3 into 20 goes 6 times, <laughs> remainder, right? Is that going to keep going on forever? Yep. Yep, so two thirds is equal to 0 0.666 going on forever, okay? And if I want to round that to the nearest hundredth, okay, this is tenths hundredth, so I just want two, I just want two digits, so round it to this digit, okay? The nearest hundredth. What's it going to be? The next digit after that is a six. So do I round up or down? Round up. So 0 0.67, right? 67. Round to the nearest hundredth. Okay, so please try this one yourself. 1 divided by 3. Can you do that one already? Now, if not, I'll do it with you. That That is um, 1 divided by 3. Or you could write 3 into 1. But uh, 3 into 1 isn't going to work. Well, let's write that as 1.0000, right? And see what happens. So we'll get 3 into um, 10 is what we'll get, right? Goes how many times? 3 times a remainder 1, right? But hold on a second. Where does the decimal point go in the answer? It goes up here, doesn't it? And so you've got a zero here because like it's like three into one is zero times, or I mean there's there's nothing there, so you got to put a zero there. Okay, so now three into ten goes three times. Three threes is nine, so the remainder is one. Three into ten goes three times remainder one. Three into ten goes three times remainder one, and so on and so on and so on and so on. Right? That's going to keep going on forever, isn't it? So what we found is one third is 0 0.3333 continuing. Now if I want to round that to the nearest hundredth, two decimal places, what will I get? Round that to the nearest hundredth. Now we've got tenths hundredths, so tenths hundredths. So I want digits up to here, okay? And I don't want anything past here. So do I round up or do I round down? The next digit is a three, so do I round up or down? We get it round down. So just chop that off and we'll round it to 0 0.33. Okay. Now, do f please try this one by yourself. 4 divided by 7, do the exact same thing. Do a division, um, then um, round it to the nearest 100. Okay. So please press pause, do it all yourself. If you make a mistake, that's fine because you have a video to show you where you went wrong. And um, I'm going to do it in a couple of seconds really fast, or quite fast, okay? 
so here I go. Better watch out. It's seven. So this of course is four divided by seven, or you could think it's seven into four. And that's not gonna work, so I can I'm gonna write four as four point zero 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 zero. And I've gotta go seven into forty, right? Well seven into four goes zero times you could say, and the decimal point goes up here. You could do that. Seven into forty goes um, five times, isn't it? Five sevens is thirty-five. I guess I guess you guys probably like to write out like this. I guess I don't know, and that leaves you at five. Bring a zero down. Seven into fifty goes seven times. Seven seven is forty-nine. Subtract. We get one. Ten. Seven into ten goes three times. Three seven. Oh, one time. Silly me. What is wrong with me? One seven is seven. Subtract. And we get three. Bring a zero down. Seven into thirty goes four times. Four seven is twenty-eight. Subtract and you get two. And this is going to go on forever. Okay. So if I just round that to the nearest hundredth, I can say that four sevenths is approximately uh, zero point. And just I just want two digits. So to the nearest hundredth. Now the hundredth spot is here. Okay. So to round up or down. <coughs> The next digit is a 1, so I'm going to round down so it's just 0 0.57. Okay. Now, what about these guys? Divide these and then round the answer to the nearest hundredth. Okay, this one, we have to move this decimal point over 1, 2, 3 places, don't we? So we have to have 48 into and this decimal point must go over one two three places uh oh must go over here what am I gonna put here though in the middle look I've got a space what do you think I should stick there how about a, a zero would that work yep so 48 into the decimal point is over here now so that's 980 isn't it right and then do the long division. I might might as well put a couple of zeros here onto this just for fun because I probably need them. Okay, so 48 into 98 is that two times? 2816 carry the one. So that's 96. Now bring the zero down. 4 into 20. 48 into 20. That's we haven't seen one like this, have we? 48 into 20 goes zero times what's that isn't that interesting zero times 48 is zero subtract zero okay 20 minus zero is 20 see that and now bring down this zero and 48 into 200 isn't that interesting 48 and 200 goes um, five I'm gonna guess four times okay Four eights is thirty-two. Carry the three. Four four is a sixteen. Sixteen and three is nineteen. Subtract two hundred minus one hundred ninety-two. Of course, is eight. Bring this zero down. Forty-eight into eighty goes just one time. I'm pretty sure one times forty-eight is forty-eight. Subtract. And we get uh, this becomes a 7, bring a 1 over. 10 minus 8 is 2, 7 minus 4 is 3. And look, we have to put on another 0 onto this guy over here. See that? Let's put on another 0. 48 into 32, well, we've got to bring the 0 down. 48 into 320. 48 is almost 50, so I'm going to think in terms of 50s. 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, right? So basically, I'll, I'm going to try um, six times. Six eights, forty-eight. Carry the four. Six four is twenty-four, and four is twenty-eight. Ooh, is that right? Six eights, forty-eight. Carry the four. Yeah, I think so. Uh, so this becomes a one, and that becomes a ten. Ten minus eight is two. This becomes a two. That becomes eleven here now. Eleven minus eight is um. Three, interesting. So we get another zero, uh, and so on, don't we? But uh, where does the decimal point go in the answer? 
we sh should have put it here, shouldn't we? Did you remember that? I think you might have remembered that, didn't you? Hopefully. Anyway, so this is just going to keep going on and on and on. Okay. My point is, we've got to round the answer to the nearest hundredth. What digit in this answer is the hundredth digit? You've got tens, units, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So the hundredth one is this. So can we round the answer to the nearest hundredth right now? We sure can. Because if we go as far, if we have to round to the nearest hundredth, if we go as far as here to the thousandth, then we'll be able we'll have something to round with. Okay. So rounding that, we get that our answer is um, our answer is approximately twenty point four, and now. A six comes after the one, so should we round up or down? Round up or two, right? So please press pause, do this entire one by yourself, round the answer to the nearest hundredth, and sure, if you make a mistake, that's fine, because then you can just check the video and figure out where you went wrong. And that might help you to catch your mistakes in the homework then as well, or just not to make much at all, many mistakes at all, right? Okay. So you've pressed pause, you've tried it, I'm going to try it now. 0 0.7 into 4.99. Got to move the decimal point over one space here and here. That'll give me 7 into 49.9. Okay? And you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna, Right now I'm going to add on a bunch of zeros just for fun. Okay? <laughs> okay. So 7 into 49, 7 times, 7, 7 is 49, subtract, get 0. Uh oh. Bring this 9 down. 7 into 9 is what we have, and that goes once. 1, 7 is 7. Subtract, and we get 2. Bring this 0 down. 7 into 20 um, is twice. 2, 7 is 14. Subtract, get 6. Bring this 0 down. 7 into 60. Isn't that 8 times? 8 sevens 56. Subtract and get 4. You can keep going if you want, but where's the decimal point going? The answer? It goes up here, doesn't it? Now we need to round to the nearest hundredth. And at this point, are, do we have something to round with? Yeah, we've got a thousandth digit, so we can round up. I mean, you could have, we could have kept going, it wouldn't matter. I mean, 7 into 40 goes uh, 5 times 5 7 is 35 subtract we get 5 put down another 0 you can keep going on as long as you like but the point is if you're asked around the nearest hundredth you know if you stop here you're good or you can keep going if you like doesn't matter but I mean you should stop you know. okay you should definitely go to the thousands at least don't stop here because look if when this became an 8 then we round it up okay so if you're rounding to the nearest hundredth, you don't stop in the hundredths, you keep going to at least the thousandths and then you round up, right? Okay, so it's approximately 7.1 and we round the 8 up, don't we? 1, 3, okay?